Alright, so we're back with um, video number four. I did take like a quick 10 minutes break because I just had my mouth dry and I actually needed to drink something, so that's the reason why I did take the break. But right now, we can uh, be um, doing the, the video number four. And then that's pretty much all about it, and just keep on going and keep on doing what we have to do today. So, the fourth subject topic is. Um, what makes a school particularly desirable to you? So also something that can make me or that makes me interested into a school is like the amount of resources they do offer So I'm aware of the fact that I'm not gonna be using all the resources that they do have But it's just like the quality more than the quantity of resources that they do have like for example um, Are the faculties that are currently doing research or all the stuff like right kind of opportunities that they do open and funny enough one thing that i did not know um earlier you know like when i was studying this whole school process thing in college right now before college is that some school like they have like online resources that you can get access to just using your email and they will be different from you know, uh, from one school to another. Like for example, for example, I do know like my school with my email address that I can technically get access to like a good amount of coding resources and also things like um, also text editor and all the stuff again that I'm not gonna be talking about now because I generally do not remember all of them now. But yeah, so they do open some doors for you and you do get access to some stuff. So. This is the reason why I'll say, you know, pay attention to like those kind of resources that you might get access to online with just call email address, which is really important at the end of the day. Yeah, all right. And come back to the question. I'll say, I already talked about how the ability to do research and faculties doing research is actually like a really big thing for me right now because, you know, prima journey and research is not required but can open a good amount of doors for you. So research is one thing, and the other thing is labs. So do they have labs, and how, or what kind of labs they have? And right now I'm in a community college, and the labs that they do have, like anatomy labs, is pretty good and pretty great. So I technically can just go there and study at any time, not any time, I'm not in because I think it goes at eight on weekdays and nine on weekends. So just before that, I'll say from like eight to eight kind of thing so I can just study and get ready for my exam and do other stuff as well. And some school also have like, I'll say tech lab kind of thing. So this is something that you guys might interest, be interested in too and take a look to, into. But for me, it doesn't really matter because I'm not even in tech no more, but I have some project that I'm currently doing in virtual reality that might be really interesting with some tech resources so I can get access to this might be really important too and other than that i'll say the price the price is really important so i'm not gonna go to a school knowing that i'm gonna be in debt afterwards i mean i'm okay with it for or for it for medical school but not right now as like i'm in undergrade kind of thing or if i'm getting a master which i technically don't think that i'm gonna get but yeah the price is really important so am i gonna be able to afford it so if i'm not gonna be able to afford it so i'm just technically will not go it doesn't matter like how great the resources are because at the end of the day it's gonna be a debt and i don't do well with that i'm sorry so that's why i'm gonna stay the hell away from this but the price is also something really important if you are looking at school and then stuff that can make you interested into a school so I'll also pay, pay a look or maybe like patch into the price and um, kind of have a plan or an idea of how you're gonna afford it and what you're gonna do to afford it so that was pretty much it for this video right it was pretty short and pretty straight to the point so if you like it just you know let me know and I'll see you on the fifth one which is just right now